Bordaglio took aim at the Pentagon, criticized in the recent CSIS Pacific Force Posture Study for a disconnect between Secretary Leon Panetta's office and the Pacific Command on planning and strategic direction. Bordaglio charged DOD is not speaking with one voice or executing major programs in the Pacific with a coordinated focus. We've been working on this military move to Guam and now to other areas for nearly 10 years, 10 long years. And why is there so much discord? Uh, we are moving to U.S. territories. Bordaglio says the Senate is partly to blame for the holdups, requiring report after report, including a laydown plan DOD still hasn't provided. But she demanded of Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Plans, Robert Scher, how DOD will resolve internal discord. Scher wasn't biting. We don't see the same level of disagreement between uh, the Pacific Command and the Department of Defense in Washington. Uh, I think certainly there, um, we are still working through many of these issues in terms of implementing. Uh, the defense strategic guidance came out in the beginning of this year. That was then translated into various guidance documents that guide the Department of Defense it is, as you know, a very large organization. But Chair, who recently visited PACOM, says the fruits of the effort will be realized in 2014 DOD budget submissions and campaign plans by combatant commanders. Chair says he's very confident DOD and all of the services are now committed to the current realignment plan and to making sure it works. We have commitments from all of the service components that this is the plan that they approve from the Pacific Commander, and I think that within the administration, there is no doubt that this is the appropriate approach and that we should begin implementing as soon as possible, uh, assuming that we are given uh, the appropriate funds to do so. CSIS officials, meantime, urged that the Guam buildup, especially infrastructure, should not be sacrificed to automatic defense cuts that could start next year unless Congress finds an alternative. They warned very little would be saved but a lot of military capability lost. On Capitol Hill, Matt Kay for PNC News.